Hey everybody, welcome back to Mike's Wooden Things and Stuff. Today we're going to do a little science. Let's go out in the driveway, I'll show you what I'm setting up, and uh, explain to you the science that we're going to do. It's kind of science. It's, it's science-esque. Science-ish. Okay, so today we're going to do how long does it take for cherry to darken in the sun? Uh, I've got five charcuterie boards that I recently finished. They've been sitting inside since I put oil and wax on them. I'm going to take, they've got walnut and maple accents. This one's got a strip of paduke as well. I'm going to take this one right now. I just put these down. I'm going to take this one and put it back inside as the control. I'm going to take this one and flip it after half an hour. This one I'm going to flip after an hour. This one I'm going to flip after two hours. And this one I'm going to flip after, what, three hours, I guess. Depending on how much sun I actually have. It's fresh afternoon. Should have three more hours of sun. So we're going to do half hour, one, two, and three hours to let these things sit in the sun. And uh, then afterwards we'll compare the darkness levels of them. And we'll see how quickly cherry actually does change when you get it out in the sun. That's the plan for the afternoon. Well, I'm going to do some other stuff <laughs> while this is happening. I'm not going to sit here and watch this happen. And I'm not going to film the whole thing either because that would take a ton of memory. But, uh, every, yeah, half hour, one hour, two hours, three hours. And uh, we'll see how quickly this happens. And then we'll compare them after. This should be fun. All right, so it's been uh, it's been an hour. We flipped this one at a half hour. We're gonna take its sticker, and we're gonna put it on there, and we're gonna flip this one, and we're gonna take this one inside, and keep going. All right, so we are at hour two, which means this has had one hour on each side and can come inside. This can get flipped to its second side and that guy's still got a little ways to go. I am gonna go in and cook supper. I'm gonna bring this in and hope that nobody steals these in my driveway while I'm making fajitas. <laughs> All right, hour three. So this guy gets turned over. Let's do it the same way as the rest of them. Uh, that guy's got an hour left. And then we'll leave this one until probably sundown. Because that's about how much time we got left in the day. All right, one more hour for you. And then end of the night for you. We'll, do, we'll check our science and see how it turned out. Oh, well, there we go. That one's done. We'll leave that one for the rest of the night. We may have another hour and a half of sun, maybe two, but it's not super intense at this time of the day. So, I don't know, this whole thing might have just been a waste of time, but <laughs> uh, we'll find out. Let's take this one inside. All right, well, we're basically out of uh, direct UV, so we'll... Uh, We'll grab this guy. It didn't get the full three hours on the second side, but it did on the first side. So grab him, and we'll uh, we'll use the the three hour side as our comparison. And I will go grab the uh, the, the one that's inside the control variable, and we'll have a look and see if we figured anything out. Okay, so I've turned them all over just for fair comparison because that one didn't get its full three hours on the second side. So we're going to do the first side 
we're going to compare the first side that got its full time on each of these to the control variable here that's been inside all day. And honestly, I mean, the, the one that was inside all day, it still has a lot of its sort of salmon pink that happens to cherry when it's fresh milled slash finished uh, before it starts to take on its rich cherryness. But between the ones that actually did get sun, there's not really a ton of difference as we go along. I mean, this, this board right here has, is the darkest of them, but I think it started out the darkest of them. All of these, all of the cherry in all of these boards came out of one board. That's why I thought this experiment would be good. But that piece out of the board started out the darkest, I'm pretty sure. So really, so far I have to call the results inconclusive in terms of how dark things, how dark cherry turns over various amounts of time. Uh, what I'm going to do, actually, is I'm going to take this one back inside. Actually, I'm going to take them all inside. But I'm going to do this again. If it's nice tomorrow, I'm going to double everything up. So this one's still going to stay inside. I'm going to do this exact same experiment tomorrow afternoon if it's nice. And we're going to turn this one into an hour, this one into two, this one into four, and this one into six hours. And see if we can get a little bit more information about how long it takes to Cherry to richen up, so to speak. So unfortunately, results from day one inconclusive. But you can tell that they are definitely starting to change because this one is still fresh looking. And these ones are definitely starting to change. But the amounts are so insignificantly different that I don't think we can get any information out of one day or one afternoon anyway. Oh, okay. Well, that was not awesome, but we'll see if tomorrow helps. All right. So day two is actually two days later because it was raining yesterday, but everything's back out in the sun. It's four o'clock. So 4.30 flip, five o'clock, bring it in, flip that one etc etc we will get some results at some point maybe <laughs> i don't know <laughs> all right half hour all right one hour this one comes in this one gets flipped those ones get nothing you get nothing you guys <laughs> uh come on in okay so after day two, results were still pretty inconclusive. <laughs> so we're starting in the morning today. I'm going to, again, I'm just going to double up the time on two and three. Uh, and see if we can get something that will actually give us some relevant information here. So this one is going to be at six hours <laughs> per side by the time we're done. And that's going to be at nine. So, maybe, maybe we'll figure something out. <laughs> maybe not. This is taking much longer than I expected, I gotta say. All right, that's two more hours on this gun. Let's flip it. And then we'll flip that one in an hour. And then uh, in an hour after that, we'll take this one in. I am really not seeing these things darken. <laughs> I think I was under a misconception about how quickly this would happen. All right, that's all they get. This is the last one. <laughs> I don't have any more time to give this test. So let's take it inside. I'm going to give them all another coat of oil and wax because uh, they did dry out a little bit in the sun. But uh, then we'll have a look at them and if results are inconclusive results are inconclusive i just i'm not going on with this anymore <laughs> i 
Okay, so I think we finally have at least what I'm going to consider a result for the purposes of this test. Hopefully it'll show off on the camera. Uh, this is the control board that was inside the whole time. It's still that sort of salmony pink, uh, freshly worked cherry tone. And immediately beside it, you can definitely tell that it is darkened. This one ended up at two hours per side out in the sun. And then as we go down, it does continue the gradient towards darkening. Uh, but at the end here, we ended up over 10 hours on this one. Uh, went two, four, six, and then this one was supposed to be like nine because it was going to be three hours per side three times. But then I just left it <laughs> out in the sun for the rest of the afternoon today. Uh, and you know what? Like, it's not significantly darker. I don't know if you can tell on this. Uh, but there is a definite gradient now. So from zero to two, like in the first couple hours, you'll start to see a significant darkening for sure. But then as we go on, I mean, it takes a significant period of time to uh, do any significant amount of change on it. Uh, but I mean, it gives you an idea about how, you know, you can leave cherry out in the sun for a bit and uh, start the process of it getting to uh, sort of that richer, almost burgundy that we all associate with cherry as it becomes what it is going to become. So not completely inconclusive, I wouldn't say, but not as dramatic <laughs> as I was hoping. I was hoping we would get like a, a really dramatic like shift in tone as we move down the line. And it's subtle, but it's there. So, yeah, I mean, not a complete waste of time, but I wouldn't say it was worth the amount of effort I put into doing this uh, science experiment. Well, that's it for this one. It, like I said, it wasn't as dramatic as I had hoped to, uh, but I learned something, you know. I learned that you can kickstart the uh, color change process in Cherry, but you can't, like, get it to go to, like, that, maroon burgundy cherry stuff unless you're talking like days and days and days i'm not gonna leave these things out in the sun for a week of afternoons to try and find out how long it takes to do that uh, but i mean as you can see there's zero the light's not awesome but there's hopefully you can tell a little bit between the zero and the ten how long I mean, it, you can make a difference by leaving it out in the sun. That's about all I can say. <laughs> eh, it was worth, uh, it was worth suntanning them just to find out. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you next time. Maybe don't bother suntanning your cherry. Because <laughs> I know I'm not going to anymore. You just let it do it naturally. It's not worth the effort of. Bye for now. Hey, if you like what I do here on the channel, don't forget you can go to patreon.com slash wooden things and stuff. I'll leave a link and uh, you can figure out a way to support me and what I'm doing. Bye for now.